koe tau ngā tamariki o te motu, ko ngā ringi tō kuingo no tūhoi. Ke ko nei tātou, ke te whare kararehe o tāmaki makaurau, ki te mātai, ki te hōpara, ki te tuhura hoki i ngā kararehe miharo o roto. Ka ko hoki ki a tātou e tahi me ka hirahira, pārekareka, weriweri hoki. A, ka tirohia e tātou e tahi mokomoko manaru, he rahi, he atāhua, he pōtiri tana haere i te ao nei. Ka mau rā nei a koe te kararehe ka tirohia i te rangi nei? Tutu wana te puehu i ngā matiti o te whenua. E tuhura mai ai ngā tuapai o te motu o Galapagos. E takoto ana i ngā rua pōharu. E noho ana ngā tumomo nei, e he ki te hanga, e māhunga wherelei. E nuku pōrori ana, e āta titiro ana. I mau rā nei a koe te momo ka tirohia e tātou i te rangi nei? A, i mau i a koe. Ko te honu whenua Galapagos kaitā. Ko ia te honu whenua nui rawa o ngā honu whenua katoa o te ao. A, ka tūtaki hoki tātou ki ngā honu e whā e noho ana ki konei ki te whare kararehe o tāmaki makaurau. I mōhio rā nei koe i nā te roa o te oranga o ngā honu whenua Galapagos. Ko tētai ko Harriet i ora ia mō te tahi rau whitu te kauma ono tau. Ko hangaia mai o rātau anga ki te mea orite ki o tātou mai kuku. E hara i te mea me kai me inu rānei e nei kararehe mō te ko tahi tau i te mea ka tāe rātou ngā kai te pupuri tika. We are here at the home of the only giant Galapagos tortoises in the country and we are joined by our two wonderful zoo educators to teach us all about them. Kia ora, ko Sterling Toko Ingoa no here kaonga aho. Tēnā kauta katoa, ko hohepa tōku ingoa, he kāa ko māua ko Sterling, mō te whare kararehe o tāmaki makaurau. Ai. Tell us about these four beautiful tortoises. Well, we have two females, Snapper and Chippy. We also have two males, Willie and Smiley. They all came together in 1983 from Honolulu Zoo. So, how did the species become so giant? So, a long time ago, when there was lots of kai on the Galapagos Islands and no predators they were able to grow to these huge sizes. So, they're pretty big in size. How about their population? Unfortunately, their population sizes have decreased. There used to be 250,000 Galapagos tortoises, but that number has reduced down to about 25,000. However, due to some very intensive conservation efforts, their numbers have begun to rise again. Well, that's really good to hear. So, tell me a little bit about their physiology. Are they as tough as they look? Uh, well, yes, they are, but actually their shells are very sensitive and that's because they have blood vessels running throughout them. They will also pull their heads into their shells if they feel threatened. Yeah, but if you scratch them just underneath their neck, they will extend their neck and their legs, they'll rise up and they'll be nice and still. This is a way for birds like finches to get in and around their skin to eat at the parasites that would be on them. In the wild. So is there any activities I can do to find out a little bit more about these guys? Absolutely, so follow us and we'll give you a new perspective on size. Cool, let's go! Ko ngā honu whenua nei he makariri te toto. Nā reira, e maha nā ai rātou me whakamahi i te taiao. Pēnei i ngā hihi o tamanu i te rā. He pōturi tā rātou neke. Ki te hiko i tātou i te kotahi kilometer i te te kaumārua miniti, tata tonu ki te te kaumāwhitu haora kia hiko i tia e rātou. Kā reo rātou niho, ka whakamahi rātou i o rātou waha ki te timotimo ki te nakunaku i a rātou kai. So ngā rangi, we're here in the incubation room and I'd like to introduce you to our ectotherm expert, Emily, who will help us learn about how life begins for Galapagos tortoises. So, first of all, what is Auckland Zoo's hope for the Galapagos tortoises? So we would really love to breed them here at the zoo. Uh, we've had one hatch out, but unfortunately she was a premature baby so her underside hadn't fully formed and she didn't make it. We know that we can get a fertile egg and an offspring, which is a really good sign for future breeding. So our hope is to breed some more for the region. They're a really important species. People love connecting to them and they're endangered in the wild. So Emily, what are you showing us today? So today we've got to do a check on our Galapagos tortoise eggs, so make sure everything's healthy with them and just see how they're developing. So let's go have a look at these eggs. Cool. Yeah. cool. Wow. There you go. So what do we need to do to take care of them? 
So when we first set them up, we make sure that they're weighed and measured and they look healthy. The eggs normally weigh about 90 to 100 grams, which is pretty light considering that they're going to end up hundreds of kilograms in the next 30 to 50 years. So when we weigh the tortoises to get them over there, we use a little bit of a treat. All right, so after 50 years, let's see how heavy they've become. So Smiley's weighing in at 241 and a half kilograms at the moment. Wow. So from an 80 gram egg to a 240 kg tortoise, it's crazy. Yeah, so the biggest one in the world was actually over 400 kilograms. But he's probably at his full adult size now. They do stop growing at around 50 years and they can live for around 170 years. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Well. Emily, Smiley, thank you so much for teaching us all about their lives and how massive they can become. I think it's time for a waiata, eh tamarikima? What an absolute privilege to meet these amazing creatures. My favourite part was probably learning about finching and being able to try it myself. We're so glad you've learned a lot about our honu whenua here at Auckland Zoo. Tēnā koe Sterling, pohepa, tēnā kōrua. Mā te wā! Mā te wā.